ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for coming back, guys. I really do appreciate it. Now, today, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the possible trade rumors that have been occurring on the internet, on the radio, just everything gathering around Arizona Cardinals. There's been trade talks, and they're heating up, heating up really much with Trent Williams being on the trading block. Before we get started here, guys, I am currently selling merch for the Arizona Sports Fan YouTube channel here. I currently got these shirts here saying Arizona Sports, and we are back. It just has a picture of a um, headphones. This is custom shirts here for this YouTube channel. If you wanted to support that, go ahead and drop it on the comments below, and I'll let you know all the details and what you need to do um, in order to get one of these awesome awesome new shirts and support the channel as well as if you are new please consider subscribing I would really appreciate it we are trying to hit 1500 subscribers by the time free agency actually comes which is going to be in March 18th so we currently have about nine days away guys can we make that 1500 mark we'll see and now on to the topic of choice Trent Williams is what I wanted to talk about I've been noticing a lot of comments on these videos about should we get Trent Williams should we not he's old we don't need him anymore. I just wanted to go ahead and make a video specifically dedicated to Trent Williams because I do remember before the DJ Humphreys signing, there was a lot of people wanting to get Trent Williams left tackle for the Washington Redskins. And rightfully so, because he is a left tackle and possibly considered one of the best left tackles in all of the NFL. Now, if you don't know his story, he sat out all last year in negotiation to get a new contract. Now, Trent Williams didn't get that contract. He sat out all of last year and now is looking for a new team. He wants to get rid of Redskins organization. He no longer wants nothing to do with it. And the Redskins organization is pretty much in that same boat where they're trying to get rid of him. But I don't think they want to give him up for cheap. Reports out there saying that he wants upwards of $20 million per year. Now, that's a lot of money. That That's a lot of cash for Trent Williams, especially because he's 31 years old currently right now. And when the 2020 season starts, he's going to be 32 years old. So that's um, taking to a lot to consideration that, yes, I do understand that at one point he was considered one of the best left tackles. And now he's just kind of getting up there in age. So we really got to consider is, is he going to be able to stay healthy? I know he had a lot of health concerns going on um, in his past. So that into consideration as well. Now, the topic of choice here is, do we need him? Do we want him? Um, and all that different stuff. I think a lot of people's minds got turned around when uh, DJ Humphreys signed that contract. Signed that three-year contract, uh, two years pretty much guaranteed. And Williams right now for me, in this situation right now, being that he wants $20 million per year, um, his age, um, as well as his health concerns for me, I do not think that we're in a situation that we, we that we need him. Um, that's what I'm going to say right now. Uh, would I want him for depth? Yeah, absolutely. He was one of the best left tackles in all of the NFL. But right now, what our offensive line situation looks like, we don't really need him. Of DJ Humphreys currently right now at the left tackle position. Now, Trent Williams could possibly be on the right-hand side. Now, he wants to get paid left-hand tackle money, which is $20 million in some people's eyes. Now, he's probably looking into the future where he's probably saying, I only have about two to three more years max in the NFL, and he's probably trying to bleed out all the possible money that he can possibly get. Now, I do know that there's a team and a market for him because of his past, because of him being a really, really good left tackle um, in the past. I think that the Arizona Cardinals will stay clear away from it. I know he can possibly go in the right tackle position. But right now, this is how we're sitting at right now. We have DJ Humphreys at left tackle. We have Justin Pugh at left guard. Now, the center position, I do not think we're going to sign AQ Shipley back. I just don't think it's going to happen. He's getting up there in age. I don't think it's going to happen. I think Mason Cole is going to slot right in there. I know when uh, AQ Shipley got hurt, Mason Cole came in and did a pretty decent job. I think he's going to be the center of the future. Now, right guard, we have um, J.R. Sweezy, and then right tackle, we have Justin Murray. Now, <clears throat> there was multiple raves talking about, you know, Justin Murray and how, how much he's uh, grown since we first originally got him. I believe he 
was cut by the Oakland Raiders, and this is a player that we ended up getting when we had that really awesome waiver wire position. Now, this is the only player that I can really remember getting that I was, you know, pretty much worked out for Steve Keim. Now, if Justin Murray works out perfectly, great. This this That would be super awesome. Um, but right now, that is what our offensive line tackle looks like right now. I think that the majority of reason why people are thinking that Trent Williams is going to be an awesome asset for the Arizona Cardinals is because they're so stuck in the, in the days where they're thinking that our offensive line is horrendous. They're thinking of our offensive line as pure garbage, hot situation. Now, the Arizona Cardinals did allow about 50 sacks on the offensive side now believe it or not kyler murray had a lot to do with a lot of those sacks you know just kind of doing too much um doing rookie mistakes not getting rid of the ball not taking the check downs so we also got to take that into consideration as well and now i don't think that we have that bad an offensive line i don't think we're the dallas cowboys i don't think that we are the uh the Bruh. steelers in the offensive line but we're not that bad people have their mindset especially the national people have their mindset of being um, the Arizona Cardinals of two years ago, we had a injury plague season when Josh Rosen was the quarterback um, that we had. We had a carousel of um, of offensive linemen keep getting hurt, uh, keep getting set down, and it was just really unfortunate for Josh Rosen. Nobody really could have succeeded in that situation when Josh Rosen was the quarterback at that time. That is, I feel like, what our national people are thinking. That's why all these mock drafts have, you know, Mekhi Becton, um, have Tristan Wirfs, have Andrew Thomas being our eighth overall pick, because I think that they're thinking that that is our offensive line currently right now and I, I think we're sitting pretty right now I think we're really good in the position that we are right now with uh, DJ Humphreys with Justin Pugh and with uh, Mason Cole um, J.R. Sweezy and Justin Murray I think we would be we would be good but I do think that there's room for depth because right now we can use some depth in that uh, line. Trent Williams, I cannot see us getting him in a trade and paying him 20 million dollars to just make him like a depth player doesn't make sense at all. I'm all up and board for maybe a second round pick, maybe a third round pick, getting a really good prospect in the offensive tackle side, regardless of what position, center, left guard, right guard, uh, left tackle, we, we can use some depth in there because who knows? I'm really worried about DJ Humphreys with the contract that he signed. I know it's a uh, team friendly contract. If he's going to be the left tackle of the future for the next three years to be available for most of these games that he's going to be playing, especially uh, being that he's going to be protecting the uh, blind spot of Kyler Murray. So that's my opinions on that. I don't exactly know what you guys think in this scenario. Do you think that we need Trent Williams in this situation? Um, I don't. I would hate to give up a second, a third, a fourth round pick for him. Maybe a fourth round wouldn't be so bad. Maybe even a fifth round wouldn't be so bad. Uh, but there's also even trade rumors going out there where, um, not trade rumors, but a scenario that came out where possibly going ahead and giving up David Johnson for an for basically like a trade out give david johnson up and then we'll go ahead and get trent williams just kind of like a you get him we get him shake of the hand and we should be good but thinking about it david John johnson's still gonna have a really huge cap hit so that really wouldn't work um because especially since trent williams wants to make 20 million dollars a year that that's not gonna happen i don't foresee it happening i think that if we didn't get dj humphreys then that would be a different scenario at that point but as of right now how much he wants per year I don't think the Arizona Cardinals are going to go ahead and get him. It would be an awesome asset. Um, it would be a really awesome asset to get Trent Williams, but it's just not a big need of concern right now. I have about $39 million for cap space this coming off season, and I feel like we can get some really good key defensive pieces for the Arizona Cardinals, and I think that's one thing that we need drastically to improve our defensive side of the ball guys but that is all i got for this episode let me know what you guys think about this whole you know situation trade rumors going on with uh with trent williams put it on the comments below please give this video a like it helps the video get discovered and yeah that's all i got for this episode guys thank you so very much i'm out You watched the whole video awesome so happy now if you have not yet already guys we do have different videos to watch i will be posting them right here right here right here and right here so just keep in mind enjoy the dance